A touchdown for Longview! Robert E. Lee at the 35-yard line of Longview. 7-0 Lobos. And Lee has moved the football on both possessions. The first one, they had a really nice drive, but eventually the holding call blew up. And this one here, the reversed after a first down, and they're trying to dig from underneath that. Third and 11, about the 35. Key Oliver and Brian Runnels. No, Josh Oliver to the slot. Four receivers set. Brandon Rogers in the shotgun. Josh Oliver in motion now. Three receivers, far side with the right hash. Brandon, back to throw, sets up the screen to Jamal. Here's a flag down, and he's not going to have much room to run now. Reverses his field and gets back inside the 35, but that flag came down early. Drew Harden with another tackle. And most likely, a hold or somebody left a little bit early. It didn't look like anyone was downfield, but it could be another holding call on third down. And it is. A long view here, I would think, would decline the penalty, although again it's in that four down territory too close to be comfortable. John King now will ask the referee to take it back another 10 yards. And that even was more of a slip screen there, Randy, not that middle screen that they're known for running. And Lee will be moved back to the 45. So, well, two early penalties of 10 yards if Disrupted the drives. They have third and 21 here at the Longview 45-yard line. Well, the screen hasn't worked because Longview is right in the backfield typically when they run it because they smell it out pretty quickly. Their linebackers are really, really read the play very well through the Longview linebackers on the screen. T.J. Jones, Brian Runnels, and Matt Johnston all in the game. Day-Day Brown will set up next to Rodgers on third and 21. You may want to throw one deep as a punt. You know, what do you have to lose? Jones is in the slot as well near side, and they run another reverse. Nope, this is Day-Day Brown. He kept it inside the 40, kept going, and finally out of bounds at the 34-yard line. They fake the reverse again. Lee has gone back into the deepest part of their playbook. He got 11 to the 34-yard line, and they'll bring in Taylor Matlock. Dontre Nelson pushed him out of bounds at the 34. As a more dipsy do, trying to uh, create havoc and confusion for the Longview defense. And it fooled about five or six green shirts going back to the right. And a couple others stayed home on this side of the field, Nelson included. And he runs out of bounds. Now there's some talk. Oh, there's a flag down in front of the Longview bench. And it could be another penalty against Robert E. Lee. And this is the second straight flag from in front of the Longview bench. 11.22 to go, second quarter, 7-0 Lobos, and these guys have got to let them play a little bit. Now, I'm not worried about the flag. I'm just talking about they're taking a long time to decide, and I think what they're asking Longview is, do you want to take the penalty again? And they are. The five-yard mark off, it's the 10-yard mark off, and third holding call against Longview with 38 seconds into the second quarter. And now... Lee will have third down again and see what they do. Yeah, all three penalties now against Lee. Holding, as you mentioned. And actually, that's a zero-yard penalty, Randy. That's what it turns out. They just run the play over. and you give, you give Lee a free play. And Mike Owens is furious on the far side. He just slammed his play, his script on the ground. He wants to talk as John Barry also has a conversation on the near side. So in other words, the 10-yard or 11-yard run from Dede Brown is wiped out by a holding call at the end of the run. And it's third down and 20 again. And Brandon Rogers will come back in. This is the second time tonight, Randy, that we've actually seen a third down that might benefit Leah because of a holding call. Altogether possible. And Mike is, uh, he's chewing on somebody and it's not his football team. All right, here we go. Trying to get into a rhythm. Everybody's trying to get into a rhythm. Brandon Rogers takes the snap. Shotgun sets up. Now rolls to the near side. Now wants to throw it deep downfield. He's got a man open. Pass is tipped away. That should have been a touchdown. Plain and simple. Carziel Martin. That ball should have been caught because Brian Ronalds was by himself. And Brandon just couldn't get enough on it and it gets knocked away by Cargio. You talk about great hustle. 
Cargill Martin covered 20 yards in the air. Yeah, he took off as soon as he saw Rodgers launch the ball. Rodgers just did not see Reynolds at all. Reynolds was running free the whole time uncovered as the safety did not pick him up. He played run to come up and stop Rodgers, and uh, fortunately for Longview, they're able to knock it away. If you would have thrown that on more of a line, even he could have come back to catch it. Here's the snap to Rainey, no pressure. Gets off a nice punt. This is round at about his seven yard line and falls backwards. Dontre Nelson makes a fair catch. Actually, that's Dontre Nelson, the fair catch at the Longview 837 yard effective punt. Uh, Jamie, how open was it? Well, he was definitely open, David, but, uh, you know, Rogers going to his left there had to turn and try to throw acro back across his body, and as you guys mentioned, didn't have a lot on the throw. But the receiver's got to help him out a little bit, come back to the football, and instead of just laying back and allowing the defensive back to dive in there and tip it away, go beat the football, go jump up and get it. Maybe you get a pass interference penalty, maybe you get the catch, but either way, you can't just sit back and let yeah. the defensive back knock it away. Garzio Martin was the one who wanted that a little bit more. First down, lead defensively. He's played well except a couple of third down conversions, but they all count. Longview from the eight back to throw. Lewis has pressure over the middle, overshoots his intended receiver, and Traveris Brown had run a post. Maurice Hood was in coverage, and he got a step on him, and perhaps Brown with that ankle appears to be bothering him a little bit. And it's Damian Lewis. I love the way yeah. he throws the football. Man, he's good. He's got a gun. He's standing back right near his goal line. He launched that 45 yards on a rope down the field, just a couple of yards over the outstretched arms of uh, Travis Brown. And, and Brown and, and Coach King, once again, is going to keep going and, and trying to get those one-on-one -on -one matchups. And uh, he's doing a pretty good job of trying and to score. It's, a, it's a lead secondary that has a lot of interceptions this year. Four last week alone from the eight-yard line, second down. They run the fullback easily for about three or four or maybe more outside the 10, 10 to the 13. Hunter Hogan was there out to the 13-yard line and a gain of five. And here's another huge, and for a lot of reasons, third down. Third and about six, maybe a little less than that, because if Lee can stop Longview here, they would get great field position. Cody Taylor has checked in. Back is the fullback, Alex Easley, out of the game. Yeah, Longview's three for four on third down conversions thus far in the game and two for two on their last scoring drive. Center is big Dexter Daphne. Actually, he's not big, but he's quick and he's incredibly strong. Third down and five. Longview from the 13, Larson, who caught the touchdown, the H-back. Low snap. Lewis wants to set up a screen, and he does. It's caught. It's going to be a big game. 20, 25, 30, out to the 35-yard line. Beautifully executed play. And again, David Larson. Lee had a great, great pass rush. Austin Wilson saved what would have been a bigger play, 22 yards, and Lee got where you want to get, but they wanted you to get to where you got to get. They throw the screen pass. Yeah, and he had four blockers in front of him. They set it up well. No one at home. Once he got past Hood, who tried to come in and knife through to make the tackle, he uh, set free for a nice big game for Longview. So first down, Longview goes four receivers, set right hash in front of their bench. They run the delay. Garrett outside. Pancake blocked by somebody. Uh, 65, Fred Canada with a pancake block, and Garrett got eight tackle made from Jordan Aubrey. Second down and two, maybe even less than that, just outside the Longview 45. Basically a veer running the right side. They get good seal blocking, as you mentioned, from Canada and Larson, and they cut back inside, and it takes a couple of least secondary players to bring down Garrett. Sean Massey checks out. In the slot is Aaron Johnson. Uh, Hollins checks out. Massey, the wide receiver. They run the delay. Quarterback Lewis breaks a tackle into lead territory. Breaks another tackle down inside the 40. And a big game for a first down. This is the Damian Lewis show. Down to the 39-yard line. Nine minutes. Clock stops. 16 yards. First down. Reggie Taylor made the stop. But a couple of broken tackles from Damian Lewis. Lewis now with 24 yards on four carries, 114 yards passing already in this first half with 8.55 to go. 7-0 Longview at the lead, 39. They'll send Massey far side with Traveris Brown in the slot. Shotgun with Garrett. Lewis raises his right leg. They want to run that power surge off the right side, and somebody blew that up. Nice job underneath. Monogold and others. Hunter Hogan. Jason Runnels, big Mark Brotherton, who's had a heck of a year, gain of about two. Well, when Lobby runs the trap play, uh, or the counter tray, kind of a mixture of both, they get a nice pull from left to right from their guard. 
uh, the left guard, just a sophomore, Bryce Redmond, 6'1", 250. Second and eight. Collins to the far side. Traveris Brown again will go in the slot. Lee with a four-man front. Shotgun. Lewis wants to just take it himself and run it. Here comes a flag at the end of the play, and I think what happened is big number 75 held on to somebody. Hunter Hogan makes the stop, but this is coming back, it appears. 